Welcome to Fraser Mac Gaming, I'm Fraser Mac. Today I'm going to be bringing you another eShop Bargains video, so it's come a series now following the success of the original videos. And today I'm going to run through five games that are on sale on the eShop this week. They're all under £10, it's all from the UK eShop, but there's some great discounts, some great games. Also later in the week I'm going to be reviewing Ito Jew from Ludosity, so some of you might be familiar with Ito Jew 2 Plus that's already released on the Switch digitally and physically. The original's actually coming to the Switch and I've been playing a lot of it over the weekend, so thanks to the devs for a review key. But yes, five eShop bargains coming up right after this. First off, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel recently. I really appreciate everyone who's been watching the videos. But if this is your first time, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my content. But without further ado, we'll get onto the games. And first up, it is Chasm from BitKid. So yes, Dan Liedman's been involved in this, obviously formerly of Nintendo, was involved in Axiom Verge, and he knows how to pick Metroidvania devs and games. He really knows the business, he looks out for talented people, and oh my god, this is another fantastic Switch Metroidvania. It's maybe not in the absolute top tier of games, it's maybe not quite as good obviously as Axiom Verge, but Chasm, as you can see on screen, is a beautifully crafted pixel art Metroidvania. So, it's got lots of interesting mechanics. What I'd say is it looks gorgeous. It isn't in the top tier for me because it took a little while to get going and it took a little while to get into the real action of the game. But in terms of how it looks, it does look gorgeous. It's had some really good reviews. It's got a 79 on Metacritic. But essentially, obviously, it's a massive action adventure game. You play as a young knight and you need to go and prove yourself and find out the secrets around some strange rumours of strange goings on in your kingdom. There's a lot of variety, there's lots of interest in levelling up, there's combat, there's boss fights, you know, there's lots of really interesting things to do. I only got so far into it because I was distracted by other games, I'd love to play more. It has had some updates since it initially released as well to improve it. The reason for the sale, it's a massive 50% off sale until August 15th. So this means the game's currently $7.99, it's because it's been out for a year. So let's join the devs in celebrating its year out and go purchase that game now. So it's available to August 15th, only $7.99. Unfortunately, in the US, it's around $20 still. Second game on the list, I'm going to have to admit, is one I've actually not had a chance to play yet myself. It's been sat on my Switch for some time, and I definitely didn't buy it when it's on sale. But yes, it's another shoot 'em up It's Blackbird. It is one that is highly coveted and highly praised by real shoot 'em up fans on the Switch. It really is viewed as being a really fantastic modern take on a sort of side-scrolling shoot 'em up The interesting twist... You actually play as a blackbird, you are a girl turned blackbird as well, which is something I didn't know until I looked up a bit more about the game. But essentially you are attempting to destroy the world. So it's got some really cool features, you know, it obviously has some interest in dark humour. It has some wonderful sort of scaled back retro pixel art. It does look quite cool, it looks quite dark, but they've introduced some really interesting colours and elements, you know, when you shoot and when you hit and your point. It's got a in nice interesting contrast. There's obviously some epic battles, some really cool enemies. It's got some, you know, interesting sort of audio visual mixing uh, into the action. There's eight different endings as well, apparently. I mean, I've heard so many great things from people who've played this and really enjoy shoot 'em ups. I'm quite happily to recommend it based on their their views on the game. But essentially, the game is 50% off as well, and that's until the 21st of August. So it's only seven pounds forty nine on the UK eShop. It's usually obviously around fifteen pounds. You can get that. On the UK shop right now and enjoy lots of fun, lots of interesting things. There's obviously high scores that are key to the, the endings. There's lots of extra features. There's combo systems. There's a bomb system. There's hidden characters. It's just jam-packed with content, so definitely one for shoot 'em up fans. The next title on my list might be slightly controversial for some, but it is Brawlout, the Smash-like, Smash-inspired fighting game that obviously it came out long before smash actually released on switch so there was a big void in you know fighting fans libraries at the time you obviously have retro style games like street fire etc but brawlout is looking to really have an indie version of that and kind of a new ip which i've got to commend brawlout it has a lot of interesting characters a lot of unique characters but then it features characters like guacamelee like the drifter uh ukulele you've got uh, the dead cells character as well so 
there's interesting characters from indie releases that people really have become accustomed to really enjoy playing so you can have online local co-op it's been designed to try and create a kind of competitive fighting game that will be featuring tournaments what it says reviews i've read they're very mixed. I think some people maybe had huge expectations. It's not going to have the scale um, or the quality of Smash Ultimate. Smash Ultimate is a one-off. It's one of the very best games in the Switch. One of the very best fighters of all time. But it has got a lot of really fun local co-op, you know, competitive games. Every event I've been to, I've played it with friends and family. I've had a good time. I didn't really take the time to really master it. I think Smash fans, if you've obviously played for the game, maybe played you know, a little bit too much, or if you can't afford Smash, currently Brawlout is 60% off, which means it's only £7.19. So you get all that content, all that local multiplayer fun. I don't know what the online's like now, to be honest. There's lots of quality in the game. It is polished. It looks great. For just over £7, you can get a fantastic fighting game. And the best bit is there's even a demo available in the eShop, so you can actually try it before you buy. This is my penultimate game for the week on the list and it's from Cubic Games and a Plava and it is Blazing Beaks. We've had a Metrovania, we've had a shoot 'em up and now it's time of the roguelite. Yes, we've had plenty on the Switch. Blazing Beaks is very much in that style of game like Enter the Gungeon and Helmet the Badass that I've featured recently on the channel. So it's obviously a very sort of retro, scaled back pixel art twin stick shooter. It's a roguelite, it's going to have randomly generated levels and you know, loot that you can pick up, different weapons, etc. But it comes with a pretty good Metacritic, pretty solid, not from the biggest of outlets, but it got a 79 overall. And again, it is another one that is 50% off until the 1st of September. So it's only £6.74 in the UK eShop. I keep mentioning UK prices because that's what they are. Obviously, there are ways of doing some jiggery pokery to get that if you are from another country or another region. But Blazing Beaks has a lot of interesting content. You can actually play with friends in a tournament mode, up to four local players. There's lots of cool weapons and abilities. There's eight different playable characters, each with unique abilities, so you can pick which suits your playstyle. And obviously the name of the game, the tagline, it's Play, Die, Repeat. Blazing Beaks, it's £6.74, 50% off until the 1st of September. The last game on the list this week is Nine Parchments. It's a magical action RPG with some absolutely lovely graphics. It really does look fun. You can actually play in one of four players, so there's lots of local co-op potential there's also online but again with most indie games i i kind of mention it with a bit of hesitation because it's difficult for games to get a real audience so unless you're a massive sort of mmo type you know fortnite scale game sometimes the online isn't really up to much but nine parchments has an interesting story you're runaway wizards you've got some magical abilities and different characters you can play as there's there's lots of bosses you know there's a story mode obviously you get to unlock new playable characters wizard hats and magical staves you can level up your characters you can train them develop them learn different arts and different paths to complete the game so it's really interesting obviously like i said there is online you could potentially try that out i haven't tried it out myself yet but Nine Parchments is 70% off until the 14th of August. So it runs out soon. It's been out for a while, but it's only £5.39. It's usually £18 on the eShop. It does look good. It looks like a fun time if you're wanting something to spend some gold coins on or you just want a little fun experience for a few days. Nine Parchments is something interesting, so I'd get you to check it out. So those are my five eShop bargains for this week. They're all under £10 and they're all at least 50% off on the eShop this week and some are running for the coming week. So check those games out. I hope you liked something on the list. I hope you found something that you'd be interested in. Please leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you're playing or what you think of the videos. Uh, I'd really like to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing recently and the growth in the channel is fantastic. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm really enjoying making the videos. Just want to let you know, obviously Super Chariot is another game that's on sale, but it's only on sale until the 14th of August. It's very short. That's another kind of co-op type experience that is fun and it's well reviewed. It's also got a physical copy. And I'll also be playing It'll Do a lot this week and reviewing it on the channel. So if it's your first time, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And I'll see you on the next video.